What is up everybody? Today we are back out on the lake determined to explore a little bit more but today we are facing a challenge that I honestly wasn't expecting. We have a thin layer of ice pretty much coating you know the part of the lake that we wanted to you know explore so stay tuned we're gonna find out how ice worthy this kayak is. All right so we're gonna do our first drop right here um it's not where i want to fish but it's a little bit out of the way of the ice um we just dropped the slab stacker down see if anything's going to be interested in it uh water temperature currently is 39 degrees but uh usually with this um deeper sonar it does take a few minutes for it to adjust to you know the uh, temperature that it was in the car and then once we put it in the water so I'll keep an eye on it we'll see what happens all right there we go first fish of the day no skunk today no skunk today oh yellow perch all right so that's a good sign this guy absolutely inhaled the bee vibe man all right just as I said that we got something on the slab stacker don't know what yet, but feels bigger than that first perch we had. Oh, sun. That's exactly why it felt bigger. That's a healthy looking yellow perch right there, boy. Look at that. That's not a bad size yellow, man. Beautiful color, man. I love how they got the red on the fins. All right, so just pulled the anchor. We're gonna keep exploring. We did get three perch out of that first hole we stopped at, um, but for time's sake, we do want to kind of explore out and see branch out. Um, there's so much, you know, area to cover in this lake that, you know, we can't just get fixated on one spot. Um, some of the ice is starting to melt, which is nice. So maybe we'll be able to get to some spots that we want to hit. But if not, uh, the nice thing is it kind of forces us to try something different and look in different areas. So stay tuned. Uh, next time we stop, we'll be fishing. We literally just pitched out the suspended jig, man. And first freaking cast, we got ourselves, dude, the crappie that we were looking for, man. That's it right there, baby. That's exactly what we've been looking for. Look at that. He absolutely ingested this uh, Diamond Miss Baby Shad. But look at that beautiful crappie, man. Absolute beaut. All right, let's see what we go. Oh, let's go. Fish on. This actually feels like a bigger one. Please be a crappie. Please be a crappie. Yeah, son. Another crappie. Damn. That guy actually felt way bigger than he was, but another one on the baby shad. Beautiful black crappie. Gonna let that guy go. Live to fight another day. All right, man, that's not bad. Uh, fishing has been, you know, fishing uh, hasn't been crazy. Bite, uh, hasn't been a crazy good bite yet, but that's two fish right now on the slip bobber. Um, and all I'm doing really is just just slowly twitching it back to the boat. Um, that last one hit literally right as, you know, I was about to pull it into the boat, which is kind of crazy. It's more of a patience thing right now, is just sitting back and kind of letting it slowly work. Like that fish looked like my bobber went under. I went to lift up and it wasn't there. Uh, I dropped it back, didn't move it for, for a second. Oh, we just had a hit right there. Got him. Same thing. That was like a weird finicky hit. This guy's a little bit smaller, but another black crappie, babe. Beautiful black crappie. Now this guy's a, a dink and a half, but uh, that won't same thing man. They hit it and dropped it, but we're gonna let this guy go Let's go. Let's freaking go 
jig this guy up right at the boat. That's the biggest one yet, man. I don't know if you would call that a slab. Where I come from, man, a slab is like 15 inch plus fish, but definitely a beautiful uh, black crappie. Definitely the biggest one we've had yet, man. Look at that. Absolute tank, man. And the, the beauty of these things, man, look at the colors on this guy. We're gonna get him back in the water, but I mean, what a beautiful pattern. I don't know if the camera probably doesn't even do it justice, but another beautiful crappie. Got him that time. Got him, let's go. What? Back to the yellow perch, man. I was gonna say, I, something was messing with it, but could not hook him. And <clears throat> this would be why it's tiny yellow perch, but we're gonna get this bad boy back in the water. Try and spin the kayak so that I can actually cast where I wanna cast. Oh, probably should fix that. That ain't gonna catch much like that. There we go. And now, just spin us a little bit. That way we can kinda see over our shoulder. Jig this a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we freaking go. Oh, he hit, he hit it right at the boat. Look at this. Another black crappie, man. Freaking, they love these uh, baby shads, man. Healthy looking thing. Usually they say with the black crappie, uh, if they have enlarged eyes and small bodies, they're in a, you know, uh, poor habitat. I guess water quality wise. So this guy looks super healthy. I mean, I'd say he's probably like an eight, nine inch crappie. In the state of New Jersey, they gotta be, I believe eight inches or bigger to keep. Uh, but we're not keeping any today. We're just strictly catch and release. But nice little crappie. Go, let's go. We just, oh no. We just had one on our uh, bobber and go figure. I uh, <clears throat> didn't set the hook quick enough on him, but I'm gonna let it sit there. If, if, that's the beauty of these rigs is, you know, if they're hungry, they'll come back for it. Ooh, we're getting a little bit of a hit on the bubble gum. Fish on, let's go. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it's another crappie. Let's go. Boom, look at this bad boy. Just keeping an eye on that float. Um, yeah, man, the river special. Beautiful black crappie. Just actually had something pick the bee vibe up just as it got right under the boat, but uh, whatever it was, spit it. So I'm um, going to pitch it back out. My guess was crappie. Uh, it kind of felt like a little bit of a crappie hit, but we'll never know. Ice is still, you know, coating most of the lake, so we're kind of handcuffed at where we could really try, but uh, we're pretty close to where I wanted to be. Um, maybe off by like 40 yards or so, but unfortunately the ice is not really melting too quick today, so I don't think we're gonna be able to get to where I wanted to test today. Now we are kind of running low on time, but I did wanna try out these. These are all I use when I go crappie fishing up on the river. Uh, they're a paddle tail or twister tail, whatever you wanna call them, grub. Um, pink with a uh, chartreuse tail honestly I've had a lot of success using that color on the river uh, I'm curious to see how it will work here uh, fishing in a lake but so far I mean this 
bee vibe has caught us some fish, man. So we're gonna save that. We're gonna just reuse it at some point. Kind of disappointed that I missed out on that fish while I was looking for uh, these paddle tails, but that's what I get for trying to fish a few rods. But yeah, it's not a bad looking grub right there. We're gonna just cast and retrieve this and see if anything finds it interesting. So, see what happens. Literally our first cast and we've got one. It feels like a nicer size one now. I don't know if it's a crappie, it's gonna be a nice one. Oh, he's running under the boat. Whatever it is, it's, oh, son, it's big. That's uh, probably not a crappie if I had to guess. Yep. It is a pickerel. Chain pickerel. Damn, son. Slime dart central, man. Look at this freaking slime dart. Say hello to all the YouTube people, man. But... Not a bad size uh, pickerel. He literally hit it right under the boat. I don't know, maybe I must be anchored on him, but I'm not really marking many fish, so let's uh, get a picture and we'll let this guy go. There we go. Got one on the float. We just missed one on the bubble gum, but the float might have gotten the guy that we just missed. Uh, not a bad size crappie. <clears throat> Another beautiful black um, on the diamond mist, baby shad. But we're gonna let this guy go. Um, that's the beauty of two rods. I mean, <clears throat> it sometimes could be a real awkward, you know, dance trying to keep your stuff together. But when you do catch fish uh, that way, it is a little bit re rewarding. Um, we just missed a fish and uh, jigging the bubblegum twister tail and probably right the time that we missed it our uh, other bait floated right over where we missed it now I'm not saying we caught the fish that I missed but um, definitely a good chance that it was the same fish but I guess we won't know but all right so we just made the official last cast of the day um hoping to get one more fish to end the day but we'll see um we're pretty much out of time at this point but uh we're gonna give it a shot i got my float suspended jig system straight out maybe 20 yards away and i got a uh twister tail just right underneath because we are drifting so it's kind of like uh the wind's kind of doing a lot of the work for me right now. I really don't have to work the bait too hard um, just because, but. All right, there we go. Last fish of the day right here. And go figure, it's on the bubble gum. Literally dropped it straight down and got him on our river favorite, the pink and chartreuse, man. That is the way we want to end a trip, man. You never want to end the trip without a fish, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.